Hey guys, it's Hunter and welcome back to another video. Straight from the combined minds of Jackson Guitars and the guy many consider to be Mr. Gent himself, this is the Jackson Pro Series Misha Mansur Signature Juggernaut HT6. <sighs> what a name. Let's take a closer look. Misha Mansur plays in this band called Periphery and is known for being okay, I guess, at guitar. His USA signature models look awesome, but they're also a little pricey. Enter the Pro Series. They're made overseas and they're more affordable. Right off the bat, I really like the look of the guitar. The shape is really cool. It reminds me of like a Super Strat with cutaways that have been inspired by a Klingon Warbird. Yep, that's a Star Trek reference. I went there. The rest of the guitar is very minimalistic. No excess flash, it's not meant to be ogled at, it's meant to make music. And it feels awesome to play. Ebony fingerboard with jumbo frets and no binding. The fingerboard also has rolled edges, which is one of those small details I forgot how much I liked. 
Very comfortable graphite reinforced bolt-on maple neck. Definitely looking forward to hearing from the bolt-on hate squad in the comments. It also has locking tuners, Dunlop strap locks, my fave, and lumen lays, which are really cool because they glow in the dark. Not so useful for me making demos in my bedroom, but definitely useful for playing on a dark stage. The satin finish I actually found quite interesting. It's relatively rough, like it doesn't feel as smooth as other satin finishes. This is the first time I've spent a significant period with a Jackson, so I don't know whether it's a Jackson thing or a Misha thing, but either way, I'm a fan. It feels very robust. All right, so far so good, but there are a few concerns that I've seen in the comments and on forums about this Pro Series HC6. Number one, the basswood body. Now basswood is found on a lot of entry level guitars. My Squire Bullet Strat, for example, which was like 100 bucks new, has a basswood body. So as a result, it has a reputation for being a cheap construction material. But let me be clear, just because basswood is relatively affordable doesn't mean that it's inherently terrible. And in fact, it's found on a lot of high-end instruments, including some of the Jackson USA Misha signatures because it's lightweight and has a good feel to it. And when you pick this guitar up, it feels solid. I'm not worried at all about it spontaneously falling apart. It doesn't feel like an entry-level guitar. Not a high-end instrument either, but it feels appropriate to its price point. Number two, the construction. Yes, it's not made in the USA, it's made in Indonesia, but in 2017, I don't know why that's still a concern. For years now, there have been great guitars coming out of China and Indonesia. Obviously, there have been some stinkers too, but you can say the same thing about the USA. <coughs> but I digress. Maybe this curve cut isn't as smooth as you'd expect from the Jackson USA models, but other than that, that, I can't find anything wrong with it. It does have a 16 inch fingerboard radius instead of the 20 inch radius found on higher end Misha signatures. And I'm not sure if that's a factory limitation or a conscious choice, but in my opinion, a rounder fingerboard feels more comfortable anyways. The fretwork itself, I found no issues with. The biggest concern, and this is actually something that I was worried about myself, is that the Pro Series doesn't sport the same high end hardware electronics as the USA models. This makes sense from a financial perspective to keep the guitar affordable because bare knuckle juggernaut pickups are ridiculously expensive. And since Misha is a bare knuckle artist, they weren't going to go and throw in Duncans or DiMarzios. Instead, it has Jackson and Misha designed MM1 pickups. I'm always worried about in-house pickups because more often than not, they sound like absolute ass. But in this case, I was actually pleasantly surprised. Now, I haven't played real bare knuckle juggernauts because I don't have that kind of money, but from the interviews I've seen on YouTube, it seems like they wanted to give these pickups their own voice in order for this guitar to take on its own unique personality. Or was it to further distinguish the high-end USA models from the more affordable Pro Series? You tell me. Either way, they're actually quite kick-ass. The bridge pickup has a good amount of chunk and clarity for precise rhythm playing. <laughs> And the neck pickup cleans up quite nicely. Then you've got the five-way blade that can split the inner coils. And the outer coils. The result is you've got a guitar that can cover a lot of tonal ground, so to speak. These pickups are really clear, really dynamic, just a joy to track with. I also didn't have any complaints with the generic Jackson string through bridge either. It has compensated saddles so you can get the action really low. It just does its job. And I guess that's pretty much the summary of this guitar. It just does its job. It's not the flashiest guitar in the world, nor is it meant to be. It doesn't have name brand components, but it sounds good and it plays well. And look, I know it's a Misha signature model, but you don't need to be a god of gent to like it. I'm not a gent guy at all. That was my first attempt at writing anything even remotely genty. This guitar will do a job for any style of metal. 
This is one of those guitars where the spec sheet just doesn't tell the full story. I don't like 16 inch fingerboard radii. I think they're too flat and I was concerned with the generic pickups. And yet even with those preconceptions, this guitar was so fun to play from the moment I picked it up. The tone and feel justified its price point. Do I wish it had real bare knuckles in there? Yeah, of course, but for $7.99 new, that's probably not entirely realistic. This guitar is great for what it is, a solid mid-ranged instrument, and has convinced me that I definitely need to be checking out more Jacksons in the future. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Pro Series Juggernaut HT6, so leave them in the comments. Bolt on Hate Squad, I'm looking at you guys. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks to my patrons for helping fund this video, Pad for mixing the demo track, and Sam Ash for making this guitar available. Song download and guitar links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. You've been awesome. This is the Jackson Pro Series Juggernaut HT6, and I will see you for the next video.